Today is an exciting day. It's chicken brooding day here at Life in the North 40. Let's get these chickens out. There's six chicks in here. Let me show you how we're gonna brood these to get them introduced into the coop with our other four adult chickens uh, in our pen coop setup. Let's get these babies brooded. Here's the things I recommend to brood your chickens. Now brooding means we're taking a couple day old hatchling chicks and we're gonna get them up to about six weeks before they can go out on their own and in our case be introduced into our existing coop and pen. And we'll see that set up in a subsequent video. Um, I like to use, this is a six foot by two by two uh, feeding trough or stock uh, feeder. Um, the good thing about this, it can be rinsed out, it's got a drain plug, it keeps them contained. In addition, when you run your heat lamp on here, if it was plastic or cardboard, it could catch fire for cardboard or melt the plastic. So a couple things, here's our water. You want to water like this so they can dip their beak in and drink water. You don't want to put a pan in here that'll make that wet, the bedding wet, and or drown. The chicks can get in here and drown. Um, in the water, I use this hydro hen. It's a 3-in-1 probiotic and electrolyte uh, with acidifiers. This is good for the chicks, keep them from getting dehydrated, replenish electrolytes. And they're growing fast. In addition, this is our feeder, so it's a drop feeder, just gravity feeds, and they can peck. And right here, we've got an organic chick starter grower from Purina. Um, this is finer than normal feed for full-size chickens, and I always like to use organic. And we have a heat lamp that I'll clip on here. You'll see me set that up with a red 250 watt infrared heat lamp. I like this, not the light, white light versions, not the white light versions because uh, they're so bright. And also I have this flake. You don't want to use cedar, it's not good for the chicks but you want to use pine shavings and you want to use the smaller stuff, not the bigger chunks. So let's get this stuff set up and we'll talk more about it. So we're going to want to clean out our water container really well from manufacturing and shipping. We don't want anything getting these birds sick. So this is a five quart water feeder, which is too big, really bigger than what I need for just six, to brood six chicks. This will go for up to 20 birds. And so I'm going to utilize this and I'm going to add my electrolytes. So, local farm store recommended this. Like I said, it's three in one, probiotics, electrolytes, acidifiers. It's one scoop per gallon. There's four quarts in a gallon, so we're just gonna do just over a scoop of this in here for the girls. These are all uh, pullets, female, supposed to be hens. They sex these at the hatcheries, and it's about 90% accurate. Sometimes you'll get an occasional rooster, which I don't want. Um, and I'll tell you all the breeds I have here in a minute. So we'll get that water nice and clean and cool. I've already washed off the base as well. And we're gonna fill that up and we just wanna mix it well. We want that mixture completely dissolved. That's what that is again, see that. So we're gonna let that fill up with nice cold water. Sometimes through the transition, uh, they get stressed. Um, 
in shock a little bit from multiple transitions. They came from a hatchery to a farm store, just went to the farm store and bought them. Um, sometimes they won't know this is the water feeder or they're, they don't want to drink. What you do is just dip their beak in there and then they know, okay? That's one of the things on water. As I stated, you don't want to use a full-size chicken feed or crumble. Um, you want to use a food specifically for chicks. It's a lot finer. And I do use an organic, which I think's recommended. That's probably close enough. And then we can just screw the bottom on this and then flip it. Okay, and just spin that on. Spin that on nice and tight. All right, now that we got the water in there, we're gonna go ahead and get their feed set up. And this is that feeder. Like I said, that's for like 12 to 20 uh, chicks. I've only got the six, so more than I need, but sometimes I'll brood more. So having that on hand will be nice. Um, I bought my chickens, the existing chickens that I have. I have four and uh, I got them already like eight weeks old. So I didn't have to brood them. So this is what you have to do when you have brand new baby chicks. So we'll just go ahead and pour some feed in here. And it'll gravity feed into that area. Right, that's gonna last them quite a while. And make sure that's seated really well um, in there. We got our water here, we got a, a light layer of pine shavings and we've got their feed here you see that they're kind of huddled under this heat lamp feels good to them um, i may need to introduce them to the water so they're aware again i recommend um, a metal trough like this you could go smaller but this is just you can use it for other uses when you're done but easy to clean keeps them contained your heat lamp isn't going to melt or start a fire of anything so I forgot to tell you the six chickens that I have here. I have a Lavender Orpington, a Buff Orpington, check my list here, a Speckled Sussex, a Golden Laced Wind Dot, a Blue Laced Wind Dot, a Silver Laced Wind Dot. One of the things as they get to six weeks and they grow tremendously every week, you just want a nice little squirt bottle. You can put warm water in here. They'll get poop on their butt, their end, that cakes on and you need to clean that off from time to time with some warm water and just wipe it off because it can constipate them, it can plug them up. So that's the only thing you really need to do other than keeping them in clean water and food. Um, you don't want a drafty space, you want a warmer room and the heat lamp like this, so if they want heat, they can come to this end of the trough and as they don't, you know, they need to cool off or they don't need that much heat, as they get bigger, they can move to other parts of the trough. I also have, this is out in my shop, it's a room in my shop. This room I have a heater on, on low, just to keep it generally warm in here um, and not drafty. Initially, these chicks need about a 95 degree warm area and as they get older uh, that will decrease because they're going to get bigger uh, produce, produce their own body heat. I hope you uh, got something out of this video. Um, yeah, you can do some different things. Um, this is what I like to do. You can also use some different um, brooding containment areas. Um, this is kind of a spendy way to go but it's multi-purpose. I use it for other things as well. Uh, and they do make smaller ones than this. Anyway, your local farm store, I tractor supply, uh, things of that nature, uh, carry most of this stuff. Um, I'm also gonna have links below for Amazon, who knows where you live and what you have as far as availability. So I'll go ahead and list the links in the comment section below. We're excited to see them develop and you'll see some more videos in the future uh, when I introduce these gals to the uh, the main flock of the four adults that I have, uh, females already. Well, thanks for joining us in Life in the North 40. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave any comments below. All right, thanks. We'll see you next time.